by Tina Goff and Mariko Hill of the Falcons. Unfortunately, on the losing side today, Mariko, what do you think went wrong today for the Falcons? I think um, we probably didn't get enough runs on the board, really. Um, obviously, a tough start to begin with. And when we lost a few wickets, we didn't have many big partnerships besides maybe Batesy and, and T. Um, of course, Tina coming in the end really saved us, getting that total up to 134. Um, but really on the field, I reckon we dropped a few um, that were quite costly. Um, and obviously dropping ones also means they take a few runs too. So um, unfortunately not enough on the board, along with not backing up with the, with the fielding and bowling. Uh, Tina, great performance from you with the bat today. How did that feel for you? Yeah, it felt great. It's the first time I've got a few runs for the Falcons and um, it was nice to help the team get a few more runs on the board and it's a shame we didn't quite get a high enough total to, to defend it, but it felt good, good to get some runs. And for you, Mariko, obviously we're here in Hong Kong. It is home for you. What's it like to be able to play here with friends and family coming into KCC and to be able to show everyone your hometown? Yeah, it's amazing. I mean, I can't really put words into it. Every time I look out to the crowd, I might see someone that is familiar to me. Um, so that always makes it a bit easier when I'm bowling or batting. Um, and the moment I sort of st stood out there and batted, it, was, it felt like home. Obviously, it's not my home ground with clubs, but um, we do play here often, and yeah, it made it definitely easier. And Tina, obviously, you were part of the Falcons last year as well. It's the first time we've had you in a press conference since then. How much has fair break influenced your game since then, and how, what's it like to be back with the Falcons again? Oh, it's amazing to be back, and it's such an incredible influence on everyone's games, being around these world-class players and just learning from them learning from people from different cultures. I think it was announced during the game today that we had 11 players from 11 different countries on the pitch. And that's something you don't get anywhere else in the world. And it's just an amazing experience both on and off the pitch. And so two quite tough losses for the Falcons back to back. Mariko, what would be the sort of plan between now and the next game? What is there to go in? Yeah, I guess um, there's a bit of tactics in regards to who's going to be playing. Um, obviously two, two losses, but I mean, Susie mentioned previously that you know, we're a team that's about giving people opportunities and everyone's had almost two games each now. So that's a huge plus. And although we didn't win on the field, I feel we've won in terms of team unity. And I mean, the spirits are so high still, um, despite the losses. And we can definitely still pick it up because we've got two games left, I believe. Well, I believe we have some questions from people tuning in. From Tomish. From so over to you. Um, thanks, uh, hey guys. It's hard to look on the results today. Um, I wanted to ask, you know, at one point, it looked like we well set and Susie when Tita were batting. Uh, what do you think went wrong from there on? And something you could reflect on, uh, you know, and uh, work for the next game? I'll take that. Um, I think we didn't really build that partnership after that. I, uh, who was it? Yasmin Khan was bowling really good line and length. and. I think a few batsmen struggled that. I, I'm a case example of that, to be honest. And um, I think maybe throwing a bit of wickets away when we still had eight overs left to really build a solid innings um, and put at least 20, 20 more runs onto the board. Thanks, Anish. Um, this is a question. Yes. Yeah, ask you to come over and um, the mic. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Just a question about the, the pitch. Obviously, you elected to bat first. Do you think it got easier to bat though as, as the afternoon progressed, and then perhaps there was a bit of regret with, with that decision initially? Do you want to go? Yeah, uh, I mean, definitely different conditions in regards to the, the moisture of the turf. Um, I don't think we would have changed the decision based on what kind of came out because we did watch on the first innings that. The ball was still bouncing. Um, it really was about stumps in play and strategizing the shorter boundaries. But um, no, I, I think um, we would have kept the same decision. Okay. Thank you. Thanks. Well, I think that's all the questions. So we will let you get away, get some dinner, and we will see you for the next game. Thank you. Sounds good. Thank Thanks, you. everyone. Thanks. So we are joined by two members of the winning Warriors. Shamina, let's come to you first. How good did that feel out there with the Warriors after having that rain-affected game before? Uh, it's a very good feeling, you know. Um, last year competition, we were having that much swings. Um, so it's very good to come out here and get 
um, two wings and actually the green effect game you get one point so it's actually very good and it feels good to be on a winning side and Yasmin you obviously were part of the Warriors last year as well you're back here you're in winning ways how good does that feel yeah, it's been really great. Like Mill said, uh, we've been having a great run. Um, unfortunate rain, uh, rained out game, but um, we've, we have a pretty strong camaraderie in the, in the side. So yeah, I'm, I'm super excited to be here again. So thank you, Fairbreak. And you say thank you, Fairbreak, you're here again. What's it been like for you since Fairbreak last year? How much has that impacted your game going back to Namibia and playing? Yeah, tons, tons. Um, I've brought so much experience back to the to the uh, Namibian side there. Um, I think it changed my perspective uh, really a lot. And yeah, I'm just grateful for this opportunity. And Shmuley, what has clicked with the Warriors this year, do you think? <laughs> I guess everybody's just in form. Um, you know, we've been in the nets, we've been backing our skills, you know, we've been having some really good training sessions and everybody's looking at very good nick. So I just think that what we was lacking last year and uh, for some new faces as well. So, you know, a little bit more um, energy and, you know, the vibes are very good in the team. And you managed to restrict a pretty dangerous looking Falcons batting lineup after they'd opted to bat. How did you guys feel at the interval? Did you really feel like you were on top? And then a few of those wickets fell a bit later. Was there ever any worry? Uh, early on, and the Falcons got off to a very good start. But you know, we had um, bowling to come and back that. And as you say, we had some very good wickets from Yasmin as well. She came in a crucial partnership um, with her and Pricey, and they did very well. Yeah, Yasmin, you're looking in really good form. You're just feeling good in your cricket at the moment. Yeah, it's actually a funny story. I came here as a league spinner <laughs> and uh, yeah, I got out to bold pace, pace today and yeah, it went really well actually. So. And whose decision was it? Yeah, to mine, mine, mine really. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I wasn't really happy bowling uh, league spin. Um, I know everyone knows it's quite a tough skill to do. Um, and yeah, did I bold pace for, uh, yeah, lo long ago. Eh? <laughs> and had you decided this before you walked on or was it you got handed the ball but yeah. actually, by the way, I'm going to bowl pace? <laughs> About two days ago, I decided that I wanted to bowl pace, and since today, just I was on the boundary, and she was like, "Yes, you're bowling the next over," and I was like, "Oh, okay, <laughs> yeah." So well, that's, it's it's different, um, but it works. So you're gonna stick with it? Yeah, yeah, I am. I, I'm I'm feeling happy and good. So so we'll have to write to ESPN Cricket Info to change your bio. <laughs> yeah, right? yeah, I think so. <laughs> uh, well, it was a pretty all-round performance that we had. Um, from the Warriors, and we have a few questions from the floor. So, Mohit, would you like to go first? Uh, yeah, thanks. Uh, hi, Yasmin, congrats on the win today. Uh, you just spoke about suddenly switching up to medium pace today, but for Namibia, we've seen you bat everywhere in the batting order. You kept wickets as well, and now you've like. Uh, started bowling medium pace too so like what do you attribute this versatility to and yeah like how does that come to you because there are not too many players who do this <laughs> one other player who does it is a West Indian Shemin Campbell who family are known pretty well so yeah I just wanted to ask you about that yeah, I think as a as a complete all rounder it's quite tough to keep up with all the skill sets um yeah I think today it really just you know came to me um I'm quite lucky that I got a chance to bowl and show what I'm capable of. Um, I did not expect uh, two wickets, to be honest, but uh, yeah, yeah, I'm feeling good. Um, I just wanted to ask you. No, go sorry, Mohit, you can go another. Yeah, thank you. I uh, just wanted to ask you too about the experience of working with Julia Price. How has that been for you? For me? Um, yeah, Price is a really great coach. Um, I, I have a quite a good relationship with her and she's just been you know po giving positive feedback and yeah I think it's definitely improving my game and giving me kind of freedom to just express myself so really happy with Pricey. Thank you and all the best. Thank you. Um, and Gomesh I believe you also have a question. Sorry my network is bad I said it on the chat. Oh your network is bad okay um, so he says what were the conversations within the bowling group when Susie and Tieta were batting together? 
you have to answer that I wasn't here. <laughs> well, um, seeing that I wasn't really a, a bowler in the team, um, I don't know really, but I think everyone just kind of hit their lines and lengths and um, made them kind of make the mistakes. So yeah, the wicket was pretty much doing all the work. They, they just put it at the right spot and got the wickets. Well, I think that is everything from us. We will let you get away. Um, if you get a chance, get Julia Price to do her Warriors war cry again. <laughs> it gave me a big old shock when I did the Flash interview and that came out of nowhere. But congratulations, Warriors, um, on the winning run. Yeah, thanks. Go get thanks. some dinner. Yep.